This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is Monday, September 28th, 2020. My name is the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. This week, uh, for our video updates, um, I'm going to take excerpts of a conversation that I just had uh, with Reverend Kara Rockhill. Kara and I are uh, friends from seminary, and uh, she was one of the folks that I interviewed early on in the pandemic uh, back in April. Uh, there's a, a link to that conversation here. Um, and, uh, and six months later, we just wanted to, to check in and see how, uh, see how we're both doing and, and how this situation has evolved um, for both of us. We're not doing the long-form interviews right now, so rather than having one 40-minute video, uh, we're going to break it up into, into five-minute videos across this week. Um, I hope you enjoy our conversation as much as I did. Um, Kara is a, uh, is, a, is a graceful and deep and, uh, and complicated thinker uh, who, who I have... Um, valued her friendship for for many years now and look forward to many years to come so at this point uh, i'll i'll turn it over to the conversation that she and i had uh, about an hour ago this computer <laughs> um hey <yeah>. buddy <laughs> so um folks might remember that we uh we touched base six months ago uh, during April at what felt like the pandemic had been going on for a little while, so it was time to start reaching out to friends. Oh, uh, those young and naive times. Yeah. Um, how you been? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, all things considered, uh, and doing okay. I haven't run a Spartan race, but uh, I have managed to lose 15 pounds in the midst of a pandemic, which is nice. It's amazing what happens when you can't eat out anymore. It, it is. Uh, <laughs> it is. Let's see. But overall, in the last six months, uh, I would say I have been a bit of an emotional roller coaster. Um, there's the, the personal that I have ADHD. Uh, and for many, many years, and since you've known me, actually, um, I went off of medication in seminary um, is it, it stopped helping. Uh, some of us just don't do well with amphetamines. I'm one of them. Uh, and I've controlled it with diet uh, and other mindfulness practices and intentional practices since then. Uh, and I noticed about two months ago that that wasn't working anymore. Uh, and I think so for a lot of us, the, that stay alive cortex in our brain has just been like, on overdrive uh, but, but if you have an ADHD brain your brain doesn't produce as much dopamine mm -hmm. so um, my stay alive was taking all of my fun out of my brain so I had to incorporate some practices that um, allow my brain to have a little bit more fun so that I get a little bit more dopamine and my number one uh, is driving in traffic because, um, yeah, so driving, um, driving is like the best for an ADHD brain because it requires all of your senses to work at the same time, especially driving in Boston. Um, it is an experience for those of you that have never done it. Uh, it requires constant vigilance. Uh, and so this correlated with the church kind of opening um, a couple days a week. A little bit so I, I drive in to work which is about an hour away uh, a few days a week and that helps I'm, yeah ask more questions go ahead it's I, fun no I'm just I'm in I'm in shock I, I commuted I across the Bronx and Long Island for three years and and in the midst of that had to drive in Boston like twice and swore I would never do that again it is a horrifying experience <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah no, when I was um, when I was an intern in Long Island, we had uh, uh, there's a lot of stories from this trip. But um, one of the one of the jobs that I had as an intern was helping to uh, um, what's the right word chaperone. There we go. 
uh, a, a group of middle schoolers uh, going to Boston because that is, you know, Boston's the, the center of Unitarian history. And so we, sure. it, was, it was sort of a, a pilgrimage that the middle schoolers took any, every year, but I, I chaperoned one year. Um, I live in fear of Ailish as a middle schooler. I, I have like yeah. preemptive anxiety about There's that. Probably a lot of reasons for that, buddy. Yeah, well, anyway, um, so all the middle schoolers were on uh, a van that we had rented that had one congregant driving it and mm. 15 middle schoolers. <laughs> and then I was driving my boss and I separately. Um, and we got lost. Mm. <laughs> so Boston will do that too. I saw the, yeah. the, the bus with the middle schoolers go off on an exit that I thought was the wrong one. And then I kept going. <laughs> And we ended up in the tunnels of Boston. Oh, yeah. GPS is not a thing. No. Um, I just this had... is, I would say, for those who, who are not in the Boston area, the interstates go under the city. Yeah. Like, all of them. But not in, kind like, of... a normal way no. with signs. <laughs> it's just all of a sudden you're under skyscrapers. <laughs> it's just, just dark. We'll have more excerpts uh, from the conversation that Kara and I had as this week goes on. See you tomorrow.